running behind schedule today, which is a rarity for me. Usually I'm early. Gonna take the router mill to the shop, see what Bill thinks. See if we can finish at least one of those stave shells. Not sure what else is on the list. He was at a muster last weekend and another one next weekend. It'd be a nice day to crash Justin's pool though. This is gonna be rough. Now it's running right here. It's running plus or minus three. Three thousand? Jesus. Yeah. 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 And at That's the, pretty fucking at good, dude. Streams, it's, it's maybe running plus or minus five. Jesus Christ. So you okay. could sell it at plus or minus five. Oh, I'm Jim approved. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is incredible. <laughs> that is amazing. That tells you that your shaft is very good. That, you know Where'd that's you right. <laughs> yeah. Where'd you get the shaft? McMaster car. With a flat on? Yeah. That's amazing. Call it a D shaft. D shaft. Fitting. <laughs> they have amazing stuff. I do love a good D shaft. It's a new drill press acquisition. Bill wants to make a dedicated shell drilling press. This is that drum I took apart over a month ago. Yeah. It's back together. It looks nice. I can't decide if I like the way it sounds. You should play it, because I can't. I can. I haven't played in over a year and a half. You're still better than me. These are looking good. Yeah, right? Now I think I finished the last coat of varnish the uh, day before yesterday, so I think I'm going to start wet sanding them probably on Wednesday. Now you dickered them up. <laughs> yeah, well, I usually just use it with the bandsaw. Oh, it oh, has been. Kissed it. Yeah, I did. That's me. It's coming out of your paycheck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's definitely me. The numbers say two and three quarters. Yep. <laughs> that's fine. No. Goodbye. Say goodbye to your 401k. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the, that one over there. No kidding. We need to have a talk with Jim's manager. Heck are you making? Well, so I just made this piece, at least this notch here. And uh, so you got to make them all individually. Oh yeah, this. See this? Dang. They'll all get cut. This I've got a fixture at home that indexes and cuts these to this. Slot cutting on a router. Got the tall fence. You got the roller at the end. That's one of the reasons they call this a light machine. Mm -hmm. It's like the way it's set up now. Look at it. It's an exciting day as one of our team members retires. One on the left is no longer tack cloth. <laughs> it's just cloth. Welcome aboard, little buddy.
No rear rings. How many plies? Uh, 12. You did a centered 45 on that? Yeah. It's kind of my go-to for piccolo snares, same top and bottom. It's oh, a depth. I think it sounds good. Four? Uh, three and a half. Nice. Always add that half inch, that's my go-to. Pretty good stuff. Took it in two passes. Orbital sander made quick work of the scratches, stepping up through the grits. But I did notice when I ran my hand around it, you could feel like little speed bumps. So I went back in and hand sanded with the grain, knocked all those down. One thing is pine, so it's really soft. It will scratch easy. I know that because when I pulled it off of the mill, I scratched it, so I had to go back into sanding. But Bill's gonna do a round of sanding Again, anyway, pre-finish, probably after layout. Yeah, after I drill for hardware, I think, I think I'm gonna have to sand it again pretty much no matter what. In the meantime, he's oiling the inside of that piccolo and pulling out bulls for nakers because we started talking about what we're gonna need for PASIC. We need to build up some inventory and we still kind of need, we don't have a wow factor project yet. We would, we would like one. I've got this second pine stave on the spit. Definitely makes a lot of dust. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is great, man. It looks like you can do a drum in three passes. Two removal passes and then a, uh, and then a finish yeah, pass. Yeah, now I'll go back and do it, do oh. it fine. I'm pretty happy with it. This thing is fucking tits, dude.
wicked pisser kid. Ran the finish pass, nice and smooth. I'm not convinced the orbital really did much for getting me ahead of the game, so I'm gonna try it. Just hand sanding this time. See where we land. Had to pivot. Was getting nowhere quick with the initial tool marks by hand, so I started with the orbital at 80 grit to get all those out, then I sand it by hand, 100, 120, 220, 320. I think we're done. A little blown up in here, but no need to shuffle stuff around. Bill's got a wedding gig tomorrow, and then he'll be back to oh, who knows which one of these. That one, that one, whatever he's got going on there. Nakers, wet sand these on Wednesday. I think he's got another muster this weekend, so I'll see if I can make it back Wednesday or Thursday. Could use a little housekeeping, but what are you gonna do?